Hey what's up, welcome back to my channel where we code apps with Flutter. In this one I wanted to show you how I organize my coding projects with Notion who are kindly sponsoring this video. And ever since I started using Notion, it's genuinely improved my life and I feel more organized and productive. And now they have Notion AI built in which is crazy so let me show you some things. Now in Notion, there's so many different ways to organize your workflow and there's a lot of different templates and things like that you can use. But for me, I like to just keep it quite simple. And one of the things I really like about Notion is just these little drop down arrows. And so I can have an overview of, for example, in this case, my digital products that I'm selling. And you can change these tabs like priority and things like that. So it's really good to just organize and have a good overview of what's going on. And for me specifically, because I make YouTube tutorials, this tab is the most important one for me. If I have a video idea, I just put it on this list and I just get to it. And you can see right now, I have the Notion video to make, which I'm actually making right now. So let's just change this up to in progress and the priority is pretty high. And currently in terms of the app tutorial, the next one I'm gonna make is this expense tracker. And so you can click on this and open up this little page and I just need to fill out everything that's important here. So like the title of the video, thumbnail, and just typed up a little intro that I'm gonna need to make for that video. And by the way, what's really cool is I just mentioned about Notion AI. So you can see it says press space for AI. And so from that intro that I just made, it will just give me a continual script. and you can keep going and you can also fine tune this and it's actually telling you exactly how to make this expense tracker which is pretty crazy so let's say i want to include this and again you can click on this and there's so many different options you can make it shorter like let's try that and before replacing what you have it'll just tell you what it's about to say and then we can just decide if we want to replace the selection and so, yep, yeah, I like this simplified version a bit better. You can fix the spelling and grammar. And one of the options that I find really cool is just changing the tone. Like currently it's set to professional, but for my YouTube channel, I like to keep it kind of friendly. So let's see what, so let's change up the tone. So let's change up the tone. Cool. And it's really cool the fact, and it's really helpful the fact that the AI is just built in to Notion just right away because then we can just work right from, then we can just work right from here. Like this title, one of the new features is it, is it can translate. So I could just translate this title to Korean. And so yeah, a lot of things we can play around with. Cool, so in preparation for this expense tracker YouTube tutorial, what I can do is let's say I need a description, like the YouTube description. So. I could type it up myself or I could just say, ask the AI and you can ask it here. So let's say, write a short description for this YouTube video and then it will give you a nice one. And so again, you can make this longer, shorter, we can improve this and yeah, a lot of things we could do. And the next thing I wanna show you is one of the big things I need to do. I need to prepare like an outline of what I'm gonna record for the tutorial. So if you press slash, you can see all these options and I use the to-do list a lot. So the first thing I need to do is to do this part, create, delete, edit expense and save the database, for example. And then I need to like display a bar graph. And then I need to have the theme. So let's say I need to have these three tasks I need to do that I need to record. What's really cool is even this guy, you can ask the AI. So if I come back to my code and I'm just gonna grab one method that I had already coded up. So I'm gonna say, let's insert some code. And I have this method and I'm just gonna ask the AI to continue writing and let's see what it does. And it just made another really important method for us, the searching and expense from the database. Let's be more specific. So let's ask the AI. This is a reading expenses method. Make a method for deleting. And sick, it just made me the code for that. And maybe code up a method to create a new expense. And so the fact that I can just do all this AI stuff right inside Notion, 
I find really helpful and really crazy to be honest. So then after I plan all this out, I just kind of go through and I check all these out. And even for the bar graph, okay, AI, can you just create up a simple bar graph for me to display the monthly expenses? And that is amazing. So once I've got all that planned out, then I can come over to my code. And then I fine tune the code here and decorate it up to my liking and stuff. So it's pretty crazy. Cool. And then if I finished this tutorial, then I can just check off these things and we are done. And we have this nice dashboard to organize all my projects. I also have different pages for different topics and different uh, concepts and things like that. So for example, Firebase and Flutter is a very popular combination. And sometimes I forget, you know, like how to connect it to Firebase or, you know, what I need to do to use the authentication and things like that. So I always have it nicely stored in Notion to remember all this stuff. And like I said, I really like these drop down menus because it just kind of organizes everything nicely. And so I wrote up a little reminder for myself. And now that we have Notion AI, it's really crazy because we can now just tell it to continue writing and it'll actually give you the correct code and instructions on how to do this. And I can just see so many possibilities. Unlike other AIs, because Notion AI is just built right into Notion, it just kind of makes the workflow really convenient and really helpful. Like I don't have to switch between anything and I can just work right here and plan out my entire project and my life. Cool. So now that it can write up code and instruction for us, we can also even just be like, okay, can you just make a blog post for me? Maybe I can make some blogs for my website and it does it for you. And remember, you can change the length of this, right? You can make it shorter, longer. You can also change the tone and get it to revise it as well if you don't like it. But there's just so many possibilities that you can do with this. So I kind of showed you from a coding perspective how you can use Notion to use it. And I just think it's really helpful for me. Lately, I've been trying to think of some TikTok ideas, you know, trying to get on that TikTok game. And so I'll just sometimes I'll just write up a couple ideas, but then I'll be stuck. And then I'll just ask Notion AI, give me some more ideas. <laughs> and then it will just give me a bunch and then I can start brainstorming. All right, so that's how I use Notion to organize my coding projects. Get started with Notion for free and unlock the power of AI for only $10 a month in the link below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.